guys what did we think of the new intro <laughs> Definitely a little upgrade. I'm literally obsessed with it. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like we should do like a replay of the intro. Let's run it back again. I'm like literally obsessed with it. 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about it below. In the intro song, let me know. I feel like it's like a little upgrade. We love it. Right now, it's currently 9.57 a.m. And as you guys can tell, I self-tanned my body. I feel so much better. I feel like, oh my god, oh, I did not do a good job, actually. <laughs> I just saw that, but I still have to like wash it off. I, I, oh my god, am I going through puberty? I'm just kidding. I still have to wash it off in the shower. So I'm gonna do that right now because I just worked out. I'm looking really rough right now. Also, oh my gosh, ever since we posted these pictures right here on Sarah and Jalen and on my last vlog, people People are saying that like we should have did three on three which now I'm like second guessing myself because I thought this was like it just felt like an art gallery but like oh an interior designer literally commented on the video and was like hey I recommend you like doing three on three so now I'm like looking at this every day and I'm like oh my god should we have done that for right now this is beautiful but now I'm like oh <laughs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and you know fix this tan and I will be back Hello guys, so I just got out of the shower. My face looks so pale compared to my body like what just took a shower I'm gonna do my makeup right now and then I don't know guys look how long my hair is getting what is happening Love that. Oh my god. Also new episode of frenemies just went up. So I am pumped I get so excited on Tuesdays. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna do my makeup and watch this at the same time Lego Makeup done. My hair is thriving today. It has so much volume. Oh my goodness. We love that. I low-key kind of want to get more highlights in my hair because I feel like the blonde is like fading. The last time that I got blonde in my hair was in June and it's April right now. So I feel like I want to get like a touch up and get more blonde in. Let me know down below if you, what you guys think because think about it. I just put my hair in a bun because it was just too much for me today. But I just changed. You guys have seen this outfit before. I'm outfit repeating because I literally barely have any summer clothes that I like. So I really need to get some more because mm -mm -mm. also it is so hot in this house because we don't have AC until next week and it's been like 80 degrees here. Definitely not used to it because in Washington it's always raining. Also I was getting some comments Ow! Also, I was getting some comments of people asking me how I do my hair like this. So pretty much I put in a messy bun. I do my edges, but the thing is that's like difficult is I do my edges and I like mess up these pieces, like my front pieces. So I have to like curl them. I guess I could wet them and then like scrunch, but then it messes up my makeup. So usually I take out these pieces in the front and I take this curler and I just curl these pieces. That's what I usually do if I don't do my edges, but whenever I do my edges, I always mess up these front pieces also this is just like super easy there is one and then i kind of like stretch it out a little bit also this is the new me wand i've had this for like years and i love it i try not to do this a lot though just because i don't like using heat on my hair you know but when i have to i have to well i don't have to but you know what i mean there we go that's how you do the front pieces and then i just hairspray it off I only really do that when my hair's up, but when I do when I wear my hair when I wear my hair um when I wear my hair halfway up I wanna oh my gosh am I okay when I wear my hair half up half down I don't really like to curl the front pieces because then my natural curls look weird with these curls if that makes sense so hopefully that answers you guys' question I also want oh my god I have to show you guys the package that I got see we literally have been keeping this door open and the fan like blasting because it is so hot I literally look naked with this shirt on I'm not as you guys know, I am obsessed with these Alani energy drinks. This one's Tropsicle. Literally like my number one favorite flavor of these. But they just sent me. I'm literally fangirling. This isn't sponsored by the way. They came out with these new ones and they come out today, which is 420. I don't smoke, but at first when I saw these, I thought they were infused with like CBD or THC. But it's actually just like the branding and stuff. It's like trippy hippie. It's more of like a groovy type of vibe. But online when I saw them, I immediately thought that it had like THC or CBD in it because it launches on 420 but they don't they're just regular like energy drinks which I'm totally fine with because I 
personally don't like smoking and stuff because I get so paranoid. They came out with Pina Colada, which this branding is so beautiful. And there's also this one, which is Cherry Limeade. And there's two missing because, you know, I thought ahead. I wanted to try it when it was cold. So we're gonna try that real quick. I'm currently drinking this one, but we'll try these. I feel like with the spray tan, I can see my abs a little bit more. Kind of digging it. Which one should we try first? Let's try Pina Colada first. Oh, I need Jalen to open these, I think. Oh, I'm independent. It's so hard with nails. Okay, Pina Colada. Oh my God. It kind of tastes like this one. That's bomb. Okay, now this one's the cherry limeade one. Let's see if I can do it. Mm, okay. I think I like the cherry limeade the most. These are bomb, but I need to be careful because I'm not trying to drink this much caffeine because I will be tweaking out. But yeah, these are bomb. By the time you're watching this, they came out with it already. So if you want to try them, definitely recommend the cherry limeade one. They're all good though. Okay, it's a little bit later. It's 3.23 right now. And I'm currently just working on a main channel video that's going up this week. That's what I'm doing. Um, Hi. this uh, main channel video, but I just got an email that kind of bugged me. I'm kind of sad. I've been on the hunt for a therapist. Like I haven't found a good one. Well, I don't want to say a good one, but someone that like is a good fit for me and like I connect good with. The last therapist I had was the same therapist as my dad, which I didn't really like. I just felt like weird about it. I don't know why it's just, yeah. Um, And also she just like kind of made me mad. <laughs> <laughs> but this was like two years ago. Anyways, I have been literally on the hunt for a therapist because I'm like mental health first And I'm like I probably should talk to someone about like my feelings and stuff Even though I don't like really doing that, but you know probably good Also, I thought it was good because I recently well like two months ago. I got off my antidepressant I would say last month was super super rough I'm like cringing at myself I don't know <laughs> I like was going through it always just like take videos or pictures of myself when I'm crying and I either take a picture to Laugh at myself. This is probably like not healthy because then that makes me like laugh at myself and I'm like you look really funny <sighs> Or I'll take a video and like talk it out See how well this is for me or I obviously like talk to Jalen because he is my little mini therapist, but I felt like I needed like someone else just because I don't know. Anyways, I've been on a hunt for a therapist. I've talked to like four different ones and I finally found this one that I really liked and I had a call with her last Thursday. The therapist was like, okay, I think this is like an amazing fit for both of us. I have some availability next month. So I will email you with like dates that we can schedule sessions and stuff. And I was like, okay, perfect. I feel amazing. I finally found a therapist that I connect with and I thought was a good fit. But then she never like emailed me after we got off the phone call. She emailed me um, five days later, which whatever, she's busy. She's helping other people. Totally understand. Um, But she emailed me and she was like, hi, Saray, it was lovely to connect with you last week. Since we spoke, I had an unanticipated change come up with my schedule. I won't have openings until the end of summer now. Here are some referrals to excellent counselors that I recommend. And I was just like, I don't know. I I don't know how to feel about it. I was kind of like bummed. I was like, why would she tell me that she has a ton of availabilities next month and then all of a sudden she like doesn't until the end of summer, which I guess she got a lot more clients all of a sudden. I don't know. I was just kind of like, I don't know. I felt like that was a little weird and I'm kind of sad. I feel like it's been so hard to find like a counselor or a therapist. I feel like it just shouldn't be this hard to find someone. And it's also been like a little bit more tough because I am trying to find like a counselor that goes with my insurance so it's covered. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to include that because I was just like that's a little weird to me but yeah so now I'm still on the hunt for a counselor so if you're a counselor or a therapist in Seattle hit me up I need someone to talk to <laughs> yeah anyways I just wanted to update you guys on that and update you guys on my mental health because last month was a rough one so depressing um, it definitely has something to do with like me getting off my antidepressants but I feel like finally now it's like leveling out thank goodness because I was so close to getting back on my antidepressant like it was spooky because when you get off an antidepressant everything like your brain chemicals are trying to like balance and stuff and my serotonin levels were er, 
hurt. But now it's been a lot better. And I feel like looking back when I, I was on an antidepressant for I think two to three years and I low key feel like it really numbed my emotions, which love and hate that. <laughs> Cause I feel like everything now is like making me like cry and stuff. When I was on my medication, it definitely helped my anxiety and depression. Like that saved my life to be honest. But now it's just like, I feel things a lot more if that makes sense. Like I'm more emotional. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's been good so far. I feel like now my serotonin is getting back up, you know? It's been a journey and a half. So guys, if you know any good therapists, let me know. <laughs> I was currently trying to find something um, for one of my like main channel videos and I was going through this. So in the office, I have this like big pile of stuff that I need to like go through. And this is just from like moving and stuff, but I was going through it because I was like, I think what I'm trying to find is in here. But I ended up finding this, which I'm super stoked about because I've been trying to find my freaking car tripod that I bought on Amazon. And I actually found two of them in that box. So I'm so excited because I, I don't know if you guys have seen, whenever I'm filming clips in my car, the freaking camera always falls over and all the videos with me in the car, my camera's always falling over. No, okay. Oh shit! Oh, my camera's gonna fall. I know. I can feel it. Oh, it did. Oh no! You guys are gonna fall. Three, two, one. Oh god! Please don't fall. Okay. So I'm excited to put these up because these are much needed. I'm gonna definitely set these up when Jalen gets back because he's currently getting a haircut. So we're gonna set this up and I wanna like vlog in my car to see how it is. Um, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I wanna pick up some sushi. So we'll vlog in the car with these and set it up and see how it is because, oh, I'm excited. But before we do that, since I have to wait until Jalen gets back, I got some packages. I already opened this one. I'm so excited. So with my curly hair, I always switch between the Aussie shampoo and conditioner and the Olaplex one. So I ordered some more Olaplex products because they just came out with this Bond Intense Moisture Mask that I really wanted to try out. And then I was like, might as well just restock on everything because I'm like halfway out on most of this stuff. I just went crazy, you know? But I'm super excited to try this. This isn't sponsored by the way, but Olaplex, if you're watching this, I love your products and you should sponsor me. <laughs> I'll let you guys know how this is, but I'm so excited about this. I also got the shampoo and conditioner. I'll link all this stuff down below. So if you guys want to try it, definitely try it. Olaplex has literally been a game changer for my hair and Aussie products. Then I got Olaplex number three, which is like a leave-in product. And I also got the bonding oil, which I love for the ends of my hair. And this just helps with like frizz and it's actually a heat protectant. So love all these products. I'm super excited. All stocked up on that. I'm also so excited because Jalen and I are going on our first vacation ever because of the pandemic in... I think it's like in 40 days. We're going somewhere tropical, which I'm so excited. And I just got one of the outfits that I wanna wear there. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek, but I don't wanna give it away. But okay, whatever. It's hard to show this, but this is like a skirt and it looks like waves. It's gonna look a lot better on. I don't wanna like fully show you guys because you guys will see it next month and I don't wanna ruin the Instagram picture. Got that in the mail. I also ordered something on Paula's Choice, which is like a skincare brand. Cause I really wanted to try it out. I don't have have any Paula's Choice skincare products, so I wanted to try it out. And I also saw it on TikTok a lot, so I was like, gotta get it. This is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, and I don't have any like good exfoliators. I used to use the uh, Ordinary, the red one, but I ran out of it, and I wanted to try this one. I think it's pretty much the same thing, but it just doesn't have any AHAs in it. I'm having a hard time because I started using like a retinol serum. You're not supposed to mix retinol, with with AHA and BHA stuff, but I bought this because online it says that you can like use this once a week and be fine with using retinol throughout the week. But when I use this, I'm not gonna use retinol that day or whenever I'm doing that skincare routine. So yeah, skincare like confuses me sometimes because like you can't mix certain things together. I don't know. I'm like, I can't keep up with this. Anyways, I'm really excited to try that. What else did I get? It says California. Oh my God. 
This is from Clarisma, California. Cute. So this is a, ooh, this is what it looks like. They sent their Clarisma Energizing Face Mask and this reveals radiance. And it supposedly has pineapple, black clay, and Manoy in it. Super cute packaging. They also sent a daily cleanser in this unclogs pores. Um, a gentle exfoliating scrub. Wow, I could use this. We got two exfoliators, love that. Oh, this is a cute little baggie. <gasps> I've been wanting one of these. Oh my god. What is this called? It's called it. Ooh. Um, what is this called? My friend recently got one of these online and it was such a weird name. Um, oh, a goy goisha. I'm definitely saying that wrong, so I don't even want to say it, but it's G-U-A space S-H-A. Guisha Guasha. <laughs> so crazy so excited to try this apparently you're supposed to like you know it helps with like drainage i don't maybe i'm just like lost but i'm really excited to try this wow so yeah thank you so much charisma i'm so excited to try that oh my god the last package that i got is from freeman oh Ooh, this packaging okay it looks like this oh this is a cute little chain necklace and then the ends it like connects to this wow right off. um okay they sent so it looks like this and i'm pretty sure these are Ooh. they sent a clay mask some sleeping mask and what is this this is a deep cleansing powder to clay mask this kind of reminds me of the um that one tiktok what is it called the aztec clay mask super cool beaded face mask set cool wow we got a lot of skincare products love that so thank you so much oh my goodness i think i literally and maybe these two are together i think i have like three car tripods it didn't come with any directions so i'm lost guys jalen just got a haircut and he's looking oh sheesh, sheesh brand new Man. Yeah, that looks good. Not the same person I was an hour ago. <laughs> Things have <laughs> oh changed God. up. When your boyfriend gets a fresh haircut. Mm -hmm. oh, to take that a looks shower. good. Okay, now that Jan okay, these pieces are annoying me. I need to put them up. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> As you guys saw, Jalen's back home, so I'm gonna try to set this up. I don't know. Um, but before I set that up, I'm gonna call and order some sushi because that sounds good, and then we'll like vlog on the way there, test out this tripod. Hi, can I order to go? I want to get beef today. May I get the one order of the Surf and Turf and the Sensational? And what was that last one? The Sensational, I think. We do not have the Sensational. Is it... Oh, wait, what was it? Sorry, let me look. The other one? Uh, I think it was. Which one is that? That one has, um, like, the smoked salmon and avocado on top, and then it has, like, the shrimp and crab and cucumber on the inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No worries. Anything else I can get for you today? Uh, no, that's it. I'm really confused at what this one is. I have one of these, and then I have two of these. But it doesn't come with any directions, so I don't know. We're gonna see if this works. Oh, UPS showed up. Hi. Joe, yeah. Give it to you. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. You too. Got another package. Okay, so I think we're gonna put it, like, right here. I just hate how it's gonna look, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. No. I fucking did it. Why didn't... Oh my god. I'm mad at myself. Why didn't I do this sooner? Oh my god. This makes my life so much easier because I'm not stressing about my camera falling. When I was setting it up, the camera tripod wouldn't fit. So the camera is actually upside down right now. And then whenever I'm editing, I'll have to like flip it. I'm not sure if other like influencers do that as well. But anyways. Oh my god. This is so exciting. This is probably not that exciting for you guys. But for me, this makes my life so much easier i think it's been 15 minutes since i've called the sushi place so we should go we'll have like a little driving sesh you know these shirts with big boobs are so hard what this is so weird hold on sorry the lighting is so bad i can't see anything right now this reminds me of like trisha paytas like driving and getting food well just driving in general she would just vlog and drive and i literally i feel like trisha paytas right now and i'm living for it because i'm obsessed with her this is kind of hard like driving and talking at the same time why is this car not going okay i'll go oh oh is there like a fuzz on you guys so sorry that's so rude of me okay what do we think about this this is like a new filming setup 
it up. I love it. Um, especially since I do like a lot of food challenge videos on my main channel and it's a lot of like drive through car parts. So this like literally makes my life so much easier. Also, I feel like I'm right on time to pick my food up and I always feel awkward showing up right on time because like it's like I'm ready for my food. So I'm gonna wait like two more minutes. Yeah, I literally, ew, I smell. I smell like spray tannin. Ew. Also, it's 4.20 today. I am not, I'm not celebrating it as I said earlier, but Jalen will be. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get the food. I'll be right back. <laughs> Got the goods. Oh my goodness. I am so ready for that sushi. Oh my God. Hand sanitizer. I will see you guys at home because I literally live like two seconds away from this place, so. But do we love the little car setup? Look at that sun. Seattle never has sun, so this is A1. Oh my god, okay, yum. So I got a smoked salmon one with crab in it and also a uh, one that has steak on top and avocado. There's a couple other things in it, but I literally have no idea. Jalen knows more about this than I do. He like recently introduced me into sushi and I'm like obsessed because usually I would just go for like a California roll and think that was sushi, but this is a level up, you know? So I'm gonna eat this. Uh, also, I have no idea how to use these. I feel like I never will, but you know, yum. Okay guys so wow this lighting it's currently 7 34 right now and i finished eating the sushi now i'm pretty much just gonna chill jalen's hanging out with some of his friends and celebrating for 20 <laughs> just kidding but um i'm just chilling at home miss independent i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm not gonna be chilling the rest of the night and watching frenemies this is truly a vibe we love that for me but i love you guys so much i hope you guys like the new intro because i am obsessed with it um um, so I hope you guys are liking it too. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day, morning, day. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.